The start of a new season means new tech, new bikes and new colours. So we've put together the entire list of what every World Tour team will be riding in 2023. Let's get into it. There's little change for the French outfit as they head into their 31st year of existence and 23rd season carrying the AG2R moniker. Once again, they'll be riding BMC bikes with the T-Machine, the Time Machine Road and Time Machine TT all in play. They're also sticking with Campagnolo group sets and wheels, Super Record EPS and Bora. And are now the only men's team on the World Tour stage using shiny bits from the Italian brand. The Italian theme continues with Pirelli tyres and Physique saddles. The first of our newly promoted teams, you could have been forgiven for thinking that the Belgian team were already World Tour approved, given the prominence of riders such as Mathieu van der Poel and Jasper Philipsen. They'll be riding the same gear they did at pro team level, which means Canyon bikes equipped with Shimano's top tier Durace Di2 group set and wheels, as well as Vittoria tyres and Celitalia saddles. Racing as Planta Plura in 2022, the German team marked its step up to World Tour level with a new name. Like the men's team, Alpecin rather than Fenix, the women will compete in 2023 aboard Canyon bikes, likely the Air Road and the Ultimate, decked out in Shimano group sets and wheels. The Kazakh squad also heads into 2023 unchanged. Once again, they'll be riding Villia bikes, Shimano group sets and Karima wheels, typically the 47WS model. The choice of Villia frame sets also remains, with the Zero SLR and Volante SLR the day-to-day -day choices for the riders, with the Turbine TT bike ready for those efforts against the clock. However, they've been given a fresh lick of paint for the new season and they might just be the best looking bikes in the peloton. Another team that subscribed to the if it ain't broke school of thought, Bahrain sets out for its seventh season riding familiar gear. Merida is again the bike supplier with its Reacto, Sculptura and Warp TT models forming the lineup. Shimano Durace is also retained as the team's group set, with the wheels from Vision, saddles from Pro Logo, and finishing kit handled by FSA. Last year was a breakout year for the German outfit, winning its first Grand Tour behind Jai Hindley at the Giro d'Italia. He'll be going to battle again aboard familiar bikes, with Specialized returning as the main equipment sponsor. The US brand not only supplies the Tarmac SL7 and Shiv TT bikes, but also the Roval wheels, tyres, saddles and the finishing kit comes from Shimano subsidiary Pro. Shimano will also provide the group set in the shape of 12-speed Durace Di2. In fact, the Japanese brand remains the dominant choice at the World Tour level, supplying 14 of the 18 teams. Clearly, there are no prizes here for guessing this team's key sponsors, so once again, they'll be racing on a mix of Air Roads, Ultimates and Speed Maxes, with SRAM's top tier red ETAP group set used throughout. Elsewhere, Zip supply the wheels, while giant umbrella brand KDEX provide the saddles. Cofidis have switched out the De Rosa bikes of last year and are replaced with frame sets from French brand Look. The move from Campagnolo group sets to Shimano also means that the Campi wheels have had to be swapped out for another French brand, Karima, and they'll be using Michelin tyres too. Recently, the Cofidis Instagram account showed images of what seemed to be a new and yet unnamed bike. The tube shapes, including drop stays, suggest something of an aero all-rounder, meaning this could well be the team's go-to bike. Only time will tell and we look forward to seeing what the mystery bike is all about.
The US team rolls into the 2023 season with an unchanged lineup of sponsors. Once again, we'll see them aboard Cannondale bikes equipped with Shimano group sets, Vision wheels, and Pro Logo saddles. But despite the lack of change, there's still some noteworthy developments. Since the Tour Down Under has been and gone, we managed to get a good look at the new Super 6 Evo 4 that I'm sure will be released any day now. As for the changes from the previous Super 6 Evo 3, think subtle reshaping rather than a radical redesign. Perhaps just as interesting is whether or not the team's aero bike, the System 6, also receives a makeover at some point during the season. Despite the shared sponsor and country of origin, FDJ Suez aren't linked to the men's group Parma team. However, they will enter 2023 on similar equipment to their male counterparts. This means Lapierre bikes, typically the Zelius SL3, specced with Shimano's Durace Di2 group set and wheels. Group Armour FDJ are another team who are sticking with the same gear as last year. For the French crew, who are entering their 28th season, this means a continuation of the long-running relationship with Lapierre bikes and Shimano group sets and wheels. The model choices appear to be the same here too, with riders choosing between the Zelius and Aircode frame sets, depending on the stage or race profile. The tyres will be supplied by Continental and the saddles from Pro Logo. The US-based team enter another World Tour season aboard Felt Bikes, who they've partnered with since 2019. Its riders will choose between Felt's AR Aero and FR Race road bikes, as well as its IA time trial model. All machines will be equipped with SRAM ETAP group sets, Vision wheels, and FSA finishing kit. The Grenadier's equipment choice remains largely unchanged. Pinarello continues to supply the bikes in the shape of the all-rounder Dogma F and the recently updated Belide TT machine. Given the presence of current hour record holder Filippo Ganna, the latter receives a little more focus than time trial rigs normally do. Shimano remain on board, supplying 12-speed Durace Di2 group sets and wheels, as do Continental and Physique, who take care of tyres and saddles respectively. The Belgian squad entered the 2023 season with a minor name change, and if last year is anything to go by, then it should be fitting, with the team providing plenty of entertainment throughout the year. Binium Gourmet's breakthrough wins at Ghent Wevelgem and Stage 10 in the Giro carried great significance for the sport. There were also Grand Tour stages for Jan Hurt and Louis Mentez. Gourmet and Mentez return and will be riding familiar equipment. Cube, Shimano, Newman, and Pro Logo remain, with Cube's Lightning C68X as the bike of choice and the Arium C68 used during time trials. While the men's team fell foul of the regulation system and entered 2023 as a pro tour outfit, the women's Israel Premier Tech squad still retains world tour status, taking over as the title sponsor of the women's Roland Cogius Edelweiss. The switch in name also means a change in equipment, with a list of supplies that closely resembles the men's. This means that look bikes are replaced with models from Factor, including the Ostro and the One, with the brand sister company Black Ink providing the wheels and finishing kit. As with the men, the bikes are equipped with Shimano Durace Di2 group sets. The Jumbo Juggernaut was omnipresent throughout 2022. They racked up 48 wins, including Paris-Roubaix, Omloop, E3, and overalls at the Criterium de Dauphiné, Paris-Nice, and the Tour de France. Cervelo remains for the 2023 season, with Voss, Van Aert, Jonas Vinegard, and Primoz Roglic, and others choosing between the updated S5, R5, and P5 models, depending on the terrain and discipline. However, Shimano are out as group set sponsors, replaced by SRAM, who will bring its wireless ETAP system to one of the most high profile teams in the peloton. A change in group set is not insignificant. Riders will need to adapt to new methods of shifting and hood shapes, as well as dialing in their gear ratios based on the new chainring and cassette size options.
The Live Racing Squad have acquired a new title sponsor for 2023, but little else has changed. Naturally, they'll be racing on Live bikes once again, with the team swapping between the Langma and the Envy on the road, alongside the Aval when racing against the clock. Being a giant brand, it also means they'll be using Kdex wheels with SRAM staying on board as group set suppliers. Movistar are another team who will be on similar kits as last year. This means Canyon Bikes, perhaps in the shape of a yet to be released Air Road. SRAM will be supplying the red ETAP group sets, again with a potentially updated version in the works. Zip will be coming through with the wheels and Physique will be supplying the saddles. The Belgian team began 2023 as Sudao Quickstep, its eighth name change if you're counting. Despite the constant name changing, specialized return, with the US brand supplying bikes and wheels in the shape of subsidiary brand Roval. Saddles, tyres and finishing kit will also be coming from the Americans. Shimano and Castelli also remain as group set supplier and kit maker respectively. Making their World Tour debut, the French team are marking the occasion with plenty of equipment changes. Out goes Canyon as their bike sponsor and in comes Bianchi, marking the return of the Italian brand to top tier racing. Riders will switch between the Ultra RC, Specialissima and Aquila models, with the latter being the TT model. The updated Ultra RC received plenty of attention on its release last year, due in no small part to its aggressive aero shapes and Formula One inspired air deflectors on the head tube. However, the vents aren't UCI legal, so the team will have to live without their potential watt-saving properties. Shimano takes care of the group set and wheels, although they will swap to vision hoops for the time trials. Other suppliers include Cell Italia saddles and Continental tires. The Dutch team will be hoping to move on from 2022, where they only managed 10 wins. Scott returns as bike sponsor, with its recently updated Addict RC likely to do the lion's share of the work. Shimano 2 are back supplying Durace Di2 group sets as well as wheels, most likely in the shape of the C36, C50 and C60 models, with the number correlating to rim depth. All will be shod in Vittoria tyres. Scott subsidiary Syncross will take care of the finishing kit, while the saddles will be supplied by Pro. Team Bike Exchange Jayco return in 2023 as Jayco Alula. However, their bikes haven't seen as much change. The tried and tested formula of Giant, Kadex and Shimano returns, having helped to bring the Aussie team 22 victories in 2022, six of which were Grand Tour stages. The team will be able to choose between the Giant Propel Advanced SL and TCR Advanced SL on the road, while hopping on board the Trinity TT bike when required, all equipped with Shimano group sets and Kadex wheels and saddles. SD work should be a force to be reckoned with in 2023. By bringing in talents of sprinter Lorena Weaves, they've added a proven winner to a squad that notched up 19 victories in 2022, including a Paris Bay and Tour of Flanders double. Once again, they'll be going into battle with Specialized, providing many of its weapons. This means Tarmac SL7 bikes equipped with specialised tyres and saddles. Specialised in-house brand Roval are also added into the mix, replacing Zip as wheel suppliers. The group set, like last year, is provided by Shimano. Trek made a few waves last year when it debuted its updated Madone aero bike at the 2022 Tour de France, largely due to the inclusion of its new ISOFLOW technology, which puts a hole in the seat tube area for better aerodynamics and reduction in weight. The Madone returns for 2023, as does Trek's updated Demane and the lightweight Amonda. SRAM is again the group set supplier, decking the bikes out in its red ETAP Axis group sets. Trek subsidiary Bontrager then fills in the gaps, providing the wheels and tyres as well as the finishing kit and saddles. Yeah. 
After their loss at the Tour de France, Team UAE Emirates will enter 2023 with revenge in mind and a new bike to boot, the Colnago V4RS. Perhaps controversially, they'll be equipping the bikes with Shimano Duros Di2, with Campagnolo out as group set sponsor. It's a move that will upset the Colnago purists, who believe that matching the Italian brand with anything other than Campag is sacrilegious. But the modern sporting world cares little for tradition, and a few early season wins will more than justify the switch to the team at least. With Campag gone, UAE have switched to NV wheels, while Pirelli rubber has been replaced by tyres from Continental. The UAE women's team will also be riding the new Colnago, equipped with Shimano Durace Di2 and NV wheels. They'll be hoping that the changes help not hinder their progress as they look to add to their 17 wins of last season. The Uno X squad sees little change for 2023, with Norwegian direct-to-consumer brand Dare continuing to supply the bikes and finishing kit, while Shimano and DT Swiss take care of the group set and wheels respectively. So there we have it, let us know down in the comments which is your favourite bike of 2023. If you enjoyed the video then please do drop it a like, subscribe to the channel for more content and we'll see you again very soon.